Hello drummer friends, it's Alan here. Thanks so much for checking in. The full version of this lesson is on my channel and the links are in the description. Hello drum school and drummer friends, it's Alan here. Hope everybody's keeping well. Right, today we're going to be looking at five classic rock shuffle tracks and how each one of these legendary drummers put their own signature stamp onto this classic rock shuffle groove. We'll do a wee bit more talking after the first one. Okay, last but by no means least, the final classic rock shuffle we're going to look at is Frank Beard's Rock Shuffle on ZZ Top's great track, Tush, let's go. fun i've done a full drum cover of tush the link uh, is in the description you can follow that hopefully you'll watch that and i hope you enjoy it if you do please remember to give me a thumbs up right that was a bit of fun hope you enjoyed that one minute drum cover and uh, that's the way we're going to do it with each one of these tracks throughout uh, this uh, lesson okay so rock shuffle Hopefully, if you're watching this, you know how to play a regular blues shuffle. You got your triplet partials on the hi hat, your swung quavers, bass drum on the one and three, snare drum on the two and four, one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, and you got your regular blues shuffle. These guys want to thicken up that shuffle fail and to do that by putting the shuffle pattern on the bass drum and then maybe varying what they do uh, on the hi-hat and we'll see that as we go through these tracks all right so i think it's fair to say that frank beard's uh, approach to playing this rock shuffle is a little bit of a break from the norm because uh, he plays it slightly differently uh, now I'm talking about the recorded studio version of Tush I'm very aware that uh, uh, whenever uh, he is playing it live and I've seen this uh, in video footage as well sometimes he'll play it like a Texas shuffle uh, but this is uh, the studio recording and I think it really pushes the song along and gives it a real edge which is as I say, a break from the norm and is really his signature stamp on this shuffle pattern. So instead of playing uh, some of the shuffle patterns that we heard uh, the other drummers play or sort of the rock shuffle there with the triplet partials on the bass drum, what Frank Beard does in Tush is he's playing the full shuffle on the hi-hat, but then he plays it like this. And then I think it's a wee bit faster than that as well. And that, to my mind, really drives that song. Thanks very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at those five classic rock shuffles and how each one of those legendary drummers put their own stamp onto that classic rock shuffle groove. 
Uh, if you did enjoy that, I'd be really grateful if you give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel. And if you follow the links, they'll take you to my uh, Buy Me A Coffee page. Uh, and you can check out. There's lots of other uh, full lessons on there uh, from beginners right up to the professional level. And you can check that out too. Thanks again. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now. Hi drummers, it's Alan here. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Plus, hit the links to become a Belfast Drum Channel member and get access to extra full rated lessons up to the professional level. Thanks so much again and bye for now.